Hi everyone. As I began adding scenery to my N-Scale Oregon joint line layout a few years ago, I decided to paint my own backdrops. I attempted to learn landscape painting techniques from the masters, but while I thought my artwork was passable, it certainly wasn't up to my own standards for the layout. On a family vacation to Oregon this summer, we dedicated a day to visiting Oregon joint line territory so that I could try and get some decent backdrop photos. Most of my layout is set in the area surrounding the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument that consists of three small units scattered over north central Oregon. The mountains and lack of trees really make for easy panoramic photography here. One of the first spots we visited was Sheep Rock Unit, and this panorama will certainly make the layout at some point. The Painted Hills Unit has some amazing geological features, although they're a little too bizarre to be believed for a model railroad backdrop. But on the opposite side of the valley from the Painted Hills is a nice mountain scene that I thought would make a nice backdrop on the Oregon Joint Line climb from Dayville to Snow Line. When I got home, I printed out the panorama on several 11 by 17 sheets and mocked them up to see how they would look on the layout. I also made a copy of the panorama and flipped it so that I could essentially double the length of the backdrop. I was very encouraged to see how it looked, but the colors were a bit too red to blend in with the existing scenery. So I experimented in Photoshop with adjustments to the color balance until I found a reasonably close match. For the final hang, I once again used 11 by 17 prints taped together, but with careful alignment, the seams pretty well disappeared. The results added an incredible depth and realism to the scene. I also added some hills to the top and bottom of the backdrop so it didn't look quite so symmetrical at the flip. Here's a comparison of my NP passenger train climbing the grade before I installed the new backdrop. And here's the same scene from a slightly different angle after I installed the photo backdrop. I was really happy with the results and I would continue to add additional photo backdrops from my Oregon trip. Thanks for watching everyone.